It is my honor to welcome you once again to my social media platforms. Okay. I remain my humble self, Evangelist Namani Chukodis. If you are seeing me right now on YouTube, please kindly subscribe, like this video, and share. It is very important to us. We are not asking for any other assistance. And if you are seeing me on, on Facebook page, please do follow our page. God bless you. And if you've already done this, God bless you also. Today we'll be looking at the dream interpretation, interpreting what it means to see yourself naked. A lot of people, they complain that they are seeing themselves naked in dream. In fact, it is like a common attack, demonic attack. But sometimes it is not really an attack. Sometimes it could be a message from the Lord God. Before we continue, I would like us to look into two major things. First, you will agree with me that it is not ordinary. In fact, no normal person would comfortably be naked, even in the first realm. If you see yourself in dream and you're putting on clothes, it simply means that glory of God is still covering you. Yes, it means that, in fact, if you, if you secure, if you get a new cloth in dream, if somebody is showing cloth for you in dream, if you're wearing cloth, know that cloth signifies commonly. I'm not saying that this is the only uh, uh, significance of cloth in dream, but commonly, major, it shows that glory of God, protection, something is still covering you. Then I will tell you again that it is important to know there are few persons that could be comfortably naked in physical realm, yes, without trying to do anything about it. Number one, these, these things I'm telling you, it is good, they are important before going into the interpretation. It is important for us to go through this as it will help us to understand when we finally go into the interpretation proper. God bless you. The first set of people I want to talk to you about are kids. Yes, you find out that kids, even though they are kids, but they don't yet know what is called shame because they don't even know that they are naked. Yes, and for this reason, they can be comfortably naked. In fact, kids being naked, I'm talking about small kids, little kids, that is the only time nakedness can represent honesty or innocence yes kids being because kids actually they are naked they don't know that they are naked yes and again i will tell you that the key is that you shouldn't know that you are naked the key is that you're supposed not to know that you are naked yes because even both the little kids adam and eve they didn't know they were naked until they started committing sin are you following me are you understanding it if you don't know that you are naked, which means actually you are not naked, because you may be naked, but there is something covering you, and that thing is called glories of God. Adam and Eve, they were naked, but they didn't know they were naked, because glory of God was covering them until they committed sin. The glory of God departed. They noticed they were naked, and that time was when the problem started. Same also kids. Kids, they would be naked, you as parents, you are covering them. But once they start noticing what is shame at the age when they are growing, that time they've known what is sin and what is not sin. You see what I'm saying? So you, as your kids are to you as their parents, so also me and you, we're supposed to be to God as our God. We're supposed only, the only time, Nakedness signifies innocence and honesty is when your kids are naked. So also the only time nakedness signifies innocence and honesty is when we are naked to God. And this is not physical nakedness. This is nakedness in our heart. This is openness. This is when we allow God's will to supersede our will. This is when we live our life that our life is open before the Lord God, that we have nothing to hide, that we are not de derailing, that we are not disobeying God. That is nakedness in heart, a broken heart. That is why in the book of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 
10, God says, I am the one that searched the heart. And then in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 25, I think somewhere verse 2 or something, he said, these people, they have done something that is right in my sight, but not with a royal heart, telling you that we should be naked before the Lord God in heart. So having talked about kids, I'll tell you again, that so you shouldn't know that you are naked because knowing that you are naked is not God's purpose. It is not God never wanted Adam and Eve know that they are naked. Then two, knowing that you are naked means that you've deviated. Once you start seeing yourself naked in dream, it shows that you are no more in, 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 the, in the secret places of the Lord God. I keep talking about this particular Bible verse, Psalms 91. It says that, we dwell in the secret places of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Lord God. So if you are still dwelling there, if you are still abiding under that shadow, you can never see yourself naked in dream. Once you see yourself naked in dream, it means that you are deviating. The third one is that once you know that you are naked, it means that glory of God has departed from you. The second people I will tell you about mad people, my people are another set of people that can comfortably be naked because you see that they are under the demonic oppression or they are mentally insane. Yes. So the third persons are those people we call people under highness. Yes. Those people that smoke, take drugs, or drunkards. You see that something is wrong somewhere. That is why they are naked without doing anything about it. In fact, they don't even know that they are naked. So having said this, let us quickly see a few meanings of nakedness. Though it depends on the context, but nakedness can indicate, if you see yourself naked in dream, nakedness in dream can indicate sin, that you are already committing sin, or that you are about to commit sin. Though it means that you are, you wear, a child of God, or you are still a true born again, genuine child of God, that God is giving you a revelation that you are about to slide into sinful life. Nakedness means vengeance. Yes, vengeance from the Lord God. Nakedness means anger of God. Nakedness means shame. Nakedness means failure. Nakedness means cause. Nakedness means innocence, like we said before, or honest, like we said before, describing using children as example, kids as example. Nakedness means defenselessness. Nakedness means vulnerability. Yes, nakedness means helplessness. Nakedness means humiliation. Nakedness means shame, guilt, judgment, fallenness, death, and disgrace. But because of time, we will quickly take a look at few, about six of them. Those ones that are commonly experienced by people. Yes, that is the major, the major ones. Nakedness means sin, vengeance, anger of God, shame, failure, and cause. Yes. And uh, like I normally say, a particular dream, a particular single dream, can mean different things to different people, depending on who they are and their stand with God. Number one, a particular dream can mean different things to different people. Yes, somebody can have see himself naked in dream and another person see himself naked in dream, but the meaning, the interpretation is not the same for both of them, depending on who they are and their relationship and stand with God. This And again, number two, a particular dream can also mean different things for one particular person, depending on time that the person is having that dream and depending again, the person stand with God at that particular time. Yes, because one person, if you are if if you are not a child of God and you are having seeing yourself naked in dream, it is a demonic attack. But once you repent, because once you repent genuinely and you are not dwelling in the sanctuary of the Lord God, no satanic or demonic attack can oppress you. No, they cannot push you into seeing yourself. No, the glory of God is covering you. So once you now see yourself again naked in dream, this time it means a different thing. It means that the Lord God is trying to warn you. Yes. So, we are talking about nakedness in dream. So, let us quickly see the first one, sin. You see, I want you to know that Adam and Eve saw themselves have been naked 
but they were actually naked physically in the garden of Eden. But glory of God was covering them, but until they committed sin. Yes, yeah, so if you are totally genuine, child of God, if you start seeing yourself naked, it could mean possibly two major things. One, it could mean that you are already dwelling in sin and God is trying to use nakedness to show you. Or two, it could also mean that you are about to slide into sinful life and God is trying to warn you ahead of time. God is trying to warn you in advance not to slide into a sinful life. If you go to the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 and 7. Let me read. He said, So when the woman saw that the tree was good for, for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. Underline it. Now, when they, they, they were naked. The only thing is that they didn't know. So now, Bible records that it was when they ate that fruit, which means when they disobeyed God, when they derailed from obeying God's commandment, they took from the food, fruit they were asked not to eat from, and he said, they, and they were, their eyes opened, and they knew they were naked, and they saw fig leaf together and make themselves covering. You see, one in God cannot just be naked. So Adam and Eve actually saw, yes, that they were naked because they've committed. Okay, let us go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 36. Another place, God is talking to another person, not Adam and Eve this time. Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 36, he says, he says, I read, Thus says the Lord God, because your filthiness was poured out and your nakedness uncovered in your halotry with Fine. your lovers. You see, but which means something was covering that nakedness, glory of God, until this person now started indulging in halotry, fornication, adultery, or whatever. Yes. And now, God said, and with all your abominable idols, worshipping idols, and because of the blood of your children which you give to them. So this woman now is, was now sacrificing. So because of all this, in glory of God departed. And God, as a child of God, you can never see yourself in dream naked. Once you know that you search your heart and you're a truly genuine child of God who is walking, serving God in truth and in spirit, if you see yourself naked, it means that you are about to commit sin or you're already committing sin. Second one, vengeance. Nakedness in dream signifies vengeance. Isaiah chapter 47 verse 3, he said, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered again. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. God is talking, telling that person. So once you see yourself naked in dream, it shows that your nakedness, vengeance, God is trying, God is taking vengeance. Then, number three, anger of God. What does he say about anger of God? Now, chapter 3, verse 5. Says, Behold, I am against you, says the Lord of hosts. I will lift your skirts over your face. I will show the nations your nakedness and the kingdom your shame. Anger of God nakedness in dream so you now you now check yourself who are you what is your relationship with god then number four shame if you go back to the book of genesis chapter 3 verse 8 he said and they heard the sound of the lord god walking in the garden in the cool of the day and adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the lord god among trees of garden this is the same god that has been visiting them. The same God, they have been enjoying his presence. But why is it that they become ashamed? Nakedness in dream. Yes. And if you are not a child of God, if you are a reprobate heart and you are dwelling in sin, satanic attack can push you into nakedness. Yes. Then, the, the, the next one we talked about is failure. Because Adam, in the same Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 and 7, where we read, Adam failed. Adam failed because Adam, if he had succeeded in, 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 in rebuking Satan, he wouldn't have been ejected from that pleasure of 
dwelling in Garden of Eden, where he lacked nothing. Yes, everything he needed was there. But he failed. Yes, something that he's supposed to get. In verse 8, he said, and they started hiding themselves. Failure. Nakedness means failure. Cause. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 17, God caused Adam. It, it was caused because Adam started seeing himself naked. Yes, because Adam started knowing that he is naked. Let me tell you that a lot of people, when they are at the verge of success, they want the when they want to experience breakthrough, somebody will call them, promise them contract, promise them favor, promise them to help them help. And maybe a night before that day or a week before, once they have dream and they see themselves naked in that dream, that is the end of that promise. That is the end of the manifestation of that good prophetic declaration. Some people have dream where God is trying to do something good for them and they will have a dream again where they are naked. It is satanic attack. Yes, this demonic attack is, is stripping them of that blessing. Once they showcase themselves naked, nakedness means failure. Nakedness means attack. Nakedness means death. Yes, because even Adam and Eve, after being naked, they actually die. What is the solution? I want you to see eh? one thing. Do you know that in the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 27, 21, that God sued clothes made of tunics for Adam? But even after God covering the nakedness of Adam, Adam still suffered and was suffering. Adam was still uh, 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 removed and ejected from the Garden of Eden. What am I saying? I'm trying to tell you that a lot of you, when you see yourself naked and you're suffering demonic attack, you run to pastor, they pray for you, you go back and start living sinful life. It does not work like that. Don't deceive yourself. No matter who is praying for you, no matter how much they have prayed for you, if you don't give yourself to God, live a sinless life, the attack will still come. Let me take you to the book of Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1 and 5. Because of time, I cannot read it now. But if you study the book of Zechariah chapter 3 from verse 1 to 5, you see that even Joshua appeared before the Lord God and Satan appeared with him. It was until God rebuked Satan and changed his filthy garment. That was when Satan the salvation. So you need appearance before the Lord God is through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You must accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth. First step, John chapter 1 verse 12. As many as that believe and accept him, accept Jesus Christ. Number 2, John 3, 3, you must become born again. Denounce evil. Yes, take up that covenant to live a new life which is a sinless life with christ then number three you must confess jesus christ as your personal lord and savior yes in the book of romans 10 9 and 10 say that from confession you are ushered into salvation then number four you must fear god and keep his word yes john chapter 4 24 jesus christ said that my father is a spirit if you want to worship god worship him in truth and in spirit then only then that you cannot bear the mark of jesus christ galatians 6 17 said let no one trouble me for i bear upon me the mark of jesus christ it is only that mark that can now signify before evil that this one is no more there like in numbers chapter 14 28 he said go and tell us that Whatever thing we have said to his hearing, he shall. This is God talking to us. So, people I'm referring to, that I'm telling you that if you are a child of God and you are prayerful and you are living a sinless life and the glory of God is covering you, no, with the presence of God around you, no demonic power, no satanic power can push you into becoming naked and dream. Then, if you have undertaken these steps, if you are suffering this demonic attack, seeing yourself naked in dream, then I will give you these few scriptures. First of all, after repentance, you need to take steps like 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and 7. Because it says that if one is in Christ, the person is not a new creature, that all things have passed away. Then Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2, it said, There is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, but there is a clause on that. It says, Those who do not walk according to the flesh, but those who walk according to the Spirit. <laughs> yes, Spirit of God. Yes, because in the book of 2 Corinthians 
chapter 3 verse 17 he said that now God is the spirit and where the spirit of God is there is liberty yes what is liberty liberation salvation then Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 he said that having wiped the handwritten of requirements that was against us which was contrary to us and he has taken it out of the way having nailed it to the cross so any requirement whatever thing that is drawing that uh, 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 demonic attack and oppression of being naked jesus christ will simply wipe it off because if you go to the book of first john chapter 1 verse 9 he said that god is always faithful to forgive our sins but he did not stop them he said the second paragraph first john chapter 1 verse 9 he said after forgiving our sins that he also cleansed us out of our unrighteousness these are two different things one thing is for a woman to bath a child another thing is for the woman after bathing the child does she will the woman now leave the child inside that bath with the dirty water no she used towel to wrap the child and towel the child and dry the child and bring the child out of the that water so one thing is for our sins to be forgiven then one thing again is for the lord god to cleanse us out of our righteousness so that now the accuser will no more accuse us because it was the accusation that in Zechariah chapter 3 that enemy followed joshua even to the very presence of the lord god then hebrew chapter 4 verse 16 he said that we come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and to have grace, yes, to find help in the time of need. These are the steps that you need to take. Then, if you can do this, I want to pray for you in advance. Luke chapter 10, verse 26. It is the record that Jesus Christ said that anyone who hear my voice have heard his voice. If you are suffering this attack of being naked in dream, whenever something good wants to happen in your life, you will just see yourself naked in a dream and this is the end of it. No more. If you are willing to accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth, then I will lead you to Christ and pray for you. Then I want you to repeat after me. Say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, today I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. I've accepted you in my heart. Come into my heart. I reject and denounce my evil ways. Today, I enter into a new covenant with you. I am making a promise right now, and I'm willing to keep it, to turn a good leaf, obey your commandments. Say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and my Savior, remove my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life as I've decided to follow you. Come into my life, take over and stay. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you've made this prayer with me, I want to pray for you. First, I'll pray for you with the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. He said that God of all grace, who have called us to eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after we have suffered a while. He has said we have suffered. You cannot say that you have not suffered a while. He said it is time. Four things. Now, to perfect us, may you be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said it is time now to strengthen us. May you be strengthened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said it is time now to establish us. That is the word of God in the book of Psalms, saying that you shall be like Mount Zion, irremovably from your position. May you be established before the Lord God that you can never be removed from this your newly found repentance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then the fourth one, he said it is time to settle you settlement is part of the settlements is deliverance yes because like i used to tell people deliverance from satanic attacks yes is salvation today salvation is coming your way in the mighty name of jesus christ amen so i pray for you with the book of matthew 16 19 and the same thing is written in matthew 18 18 it said that whatever thing we bound on earth is bound in heaven Today, let that demonic attack be bound from and be seized from happening to you again because you now bear the mark of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And also in the book of John chapter 8 verse 32, he said that you shall, we shall know the truth. 
truth is it just saying are you the one who did this you answer yes or no no the truth that place is talking about is jesus christ if you say that we shall know jesus christ and jesus christ shall set us free you are still on the right track john chapter 8 verse 32 because if you go to the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 jesus christ himself said i am the truth the way and life yes so bible is talking about truth as jesus christ and John chapter 8, verse 36, he said again, instead of using truth, again, he said, if the Son set you free, you shall be free indeed. Today, become free from that demonic attack in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to be serious about it. I want you to know that you have to do four things to maintain your salvation and maintain this call you've answered to this to utter of God. This call you've answered to follow Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Number one thing I want you to do after, after, after uh, uh, among the four things is for you to do everything possible to live a sinless life. It is possible. Some people say it's not possible. A married man can he stay without having extramarital affairs? Is it possible for a woman to get married as a virgin? Bra bra bra, rubbish. I'm telling you, it is Excuse possible. Me. All these things are possible. Live a sinless life, number one. Then number two, I want you to join a living commission, a living church. The book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, 1 and 2, he said, don't accept every spirit. Test the spirit and make sure that it is from the Lord God. So today, even if there is a place you are going to church, to, to worship, I want you to kneel down and ask God. I'm not inviting you to become part of any particular church. There are many good churches, commissions out there. Yes, but I want you to kneel down, ask God that you want to serve him in truth and in spirit. Because native doctors, they are no more in the bush. Yes, they have been exposed. So what they do now is to build some places and call it one church, impersonate one pastor, answer prophet or this. Yes. So be careful where you go to worship because this is the end time. If you study the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 14, he said, no wonder that even Satan himself and his ministers are portraying themselves as ministers of light. Yes. Matthew 24, 24, he said, in the last day, many false prophets shall emerge to deceive even the very elect. I want you to be sure where you are. That is number two. Then number three, a lot of Christians, they don't read Bible. Even the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 said that we should study the word of God and make sure that we don't allow it to depart. But I discovered that when I speak with a lot of Christians, they keep on saying, my pastor said, my prophet said, evangelist said, a bishop said, the reverend father said, why? My question is this. Children, if you are married and you have kids, your kids, your own kids, or if you are not married, Take example, other kids, do they not have teachers in school? Yes, they have teachers. Are they not buying textbooks? Do they say because they have teachers and they don't? there's no need for them to buy textbooks? No, they buy textbooks, they study them. Even from school, they give them other materials to also study at home. To tell you that even when you have pastors, no matter how good they are in teaching you, you still need Bible, not just the phone app. You need the heart to surround and you, and you don't have... just buy Bible. Let me show you the secret. You don't just buy Bible and start using it. If you buy Bible, get your home. If possible, go to an altar, genuine altar, read the Bible, then pray over it so that it becomes weaponized. Do you know that a grenade or a bomb is a bomb but cannot explode except the, if the, the trigger of the fusion or whatever. I'm not a professional in this, but I'm just saying from what I understand that, mm -hmm. that they used to remove something for a grenade to be able to explode. Yes, that new Bible, you have to lay hands, pray over it, it become weaponized, it become a weapon in your hand. Yes. So I want to tell you the number three among the four things I want you to do for me that you need to get a Bible. Then the fourth one, you need to be prayerful. Yes. Satan knows that one of the weak points is when you are living a prayerless life as a child of God. Because take for instance a soldier, and this guy is genuinely a soldier, not, not impersonating, and he's on uniform, but he doesn't have God. He can be killed. Yes. 
And he cannot even kill enemy. But with the right gun and the right position, yes, he can fire and take victory. So you need prayer. Yes, always be prayerful. Even Jesus Christ prayed and was recorded that he prayed until the sweat that comes from his body became like blood. God bless you. Like, like I normally appear, if you have watched this video to this length, please kindly subscribe. If you are seeing us on YouTube, if you are seeing us on, on Facebook, kindly follow our page. It is very important. I'm not asking you for money. We want to build this page so that this YouTube uh, um, system, they use how many likes that video is generating. They use it as a kind of count for them to show the video to many people. So it's important for you, for us, that you like this video, that you comment, share this video, and subscribe. It takes nothing from you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I, once again, remain my humble self, Evangelist Namani Chukwode. God bless you. God bless you.